Uh, we're joined by captain of the Barmy Army side, Heather Knight, and coach Lydia Greenway. Commiserations to both of you, but what a fight your team put out there, didn't they, Lydia? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, going back to the start of the game, having lost wickets in the power play, um, you have to give credit to the way that the Tornadoes bowled, but actually the way that we fought and came back and, and posted a score which turned out to be nearly defendable, I think, is a great effort. And I think that's one of the best things about this team is that they're, they're never going to back down or, or give up. So, yeah, have to be very proud of, of how they've sort of turned things around and come back. And Heather, we saw those antics from Romano with the bat. How great was that to watch? Because it looked like you maybe got a defendable score on the board there. Yeah, I think she really got us up to a table that we, we thought like we could defend. I think it was still a little bit under par, but yeah, the way she played was outstanding. She's been badgering Lid to get up the order a little bit, so um, she walks the walk, didn't she? She knew her options and, and just was really smart with it. So yeah, really pleased that she's done that and, and done really well. Um, but yeah, I guess we were... A little bit short and, and we want one of the top five to, to go on and be there at the end to really maximise um, those death overs, which we didn't do today. Yeah, and Lydia, you made it to the semi-final, which is still an achievement in itself. I, what have you seen grow through this team throughout the time you've been here? Because obviously so many players from different countries come together. You've had to, that has been must have been a challenge in itself. Yeah, I think it's it's been quite easy, actually, just because of the players that we've got in the group. Um, you know, some of our objectives in this tournament is... Of course, you want to win it, but actually learn as much as you can from each other. And I think that's been one of our biggest strengths, um, the, the way that the team have interacted from from the first day. Um, and so, yeah, that, that's just pleasing to see. I had a chat with Sophie Devine at the end of the game and the amount of learning that has happened in this one game in the space of, what, four hours is more than any training sessions, any number of training sessions that, that they can go and do. So, um, you know, that's why this, this tournament has, has just been so fantastic. Yeah, and Heather, it was a really, really tight game. But actually, I know you two were on the losing side of it today. Something like that is such a good advert for this tournament. There's associate nation players doing their bit. There's full nation players. And then it's that tight. How great is it to be part of something like that? Yeah, I was really enjoying being out there, to be honest. It was a lot of fun being involved in that sort of close game in a semi-final as well. And as Lid said, she hit the nail on the head. Uh, I think that sort of pressure situation and knowing how you react as a player, some of those girls won't have been under that pressure on telly in a semi-final. Um, so they'll learn heaps from that and, and really grow from it. I, I think when you're in that sort of situation and, and you maybe don't come out on top, I think you learn even more. So, um, yeah, really pleased. I think it's great for the tournament um, and a real advert for, for how we played the game, I think, as well. And what's it been like to captain this side through the tournament? Yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I think we've had a brilliant set of girls. They've been um, really receptive to what we're trying to do, a lot of fun, um, obviously trying to learn and, and trying to enjoy their cricket. And um, yeah, it's been a, a challenge at times with, with some of the language uh, barriers and, and things like that, but the, the girls have been outstanding. And um, Lid's been great with um, the girls as well, leading from the front. Yeah, and it's obviously you know Heather very well from her time with England, um, but what's it been like working with her in a really different situation like this? Oh, I've loved it, yeah. it's um, Yeah, I mean, we're obviously good friends. We played a lot of cricket together, and I think to have a captain like Heather in this sort of tournament, um, I, I can relax a little bit because I think that's massive when you have uh, a captain who is as experienced as Heather leading these group of players. I think it's, you know, it just makes for an even better experience for all the girls involved. and. Yeah, I, yeah, obviously, um, don't want to blow a trumpet too much. She's trying to get out <laughs> of the game tomorrow as well. <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been great. Really enjoyed it. And Heather, as you know, the Barmy Army has been renamed Heather Knight's Barmy Army um, as of late. What's it been like to play for that Barmy Army side? They've always been supporting England, but you're playing for them and everyone back in England supporting you and this multinational side. Yeah, it's been really cool. Um, so Paul, who heads the Barmy Army, has been out here and his support has been great along with his wife's um yeah it's been a lot of fun i think obviously bringing an english tinge and um teaching the girls a bit of english dancing as well in our celebration has <laughs> been fun uh, but yes yeah, it's, it's been nice and i think it's really nice to see um people that aren't traditionally involved in women's cricket um get involved and and see how it can add to to their brand and, and add to the barmy army so um, it's really nice to get that support